Well, they are one of the most respected dance groups. Many of us know them from their shows around St. Patrick's Day, but all year long, these McGing Irish dancers get ready for their own versions of performance. A lot of them do it this time of year as we head back to school, and this is a big time where dancers sign up. So we are going to turn it over to some great performers, I'll say, not even kids, of this McGing Irish dancers. We'll take it away and we'll come back and talk. <laughs> good for us because we had to sort of take them halfway through the music. We do things in TV time here. Mary, come on out with me. This is Mary McGing. You own the studio, correct? Yeah, Tell us just a little bit about it, where you are, about some of these dancers. Aren't they fantastic? We are located in Blue Ash, so we have, but we have five other locations that we teach Irish dancing. This is our 38th year. Wow. That we've been teaching Irish dancing in Cincinnati. Yeah, we love Started it. Started when you were four. No, two. So, <laughs> two, sorry. <laughs> Silly me. Now, some of these girls, let me just get a, a real quick, how long have you been dancing? Ten years. Ten years. So you started when you were two as well. How about you? <laughs> Five years. Five years? Thirteen years. Whoa. Twelve years. Twelve years. So you've had them with you for a while. And what I want to know is, like, can you pretty much take anyone and make them an Irish dancer? Absolutely anyone. Really? Yes, anyone. No matter how many left feet you have, yes, we okay. can teach you to dance. I, I'm glad to hear that because some of us are not gifted in that, and I love to watch that. And this is a big time of year where you said kids come out and they sign up and kind of get involved for the school year and whatnot. Yeah, people are starting school and they're like, we need a new extracurricular activity. An Irish dance is just a great way because it's fitness and poise. You and know, that's what I love about but I have to say that you notice the kids in dancing, they stay in shape, but they have a reason to be active and that kind of thing. They just seem to love it. Oh, they love it. And yes. when I, I've done a bunch of things at your studio for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, and I know that you get teams together and you support things all year, just not at uh, St. Patrick's Day. No, right? the, the dancers are so lucky. They've got the Reds game coming up, Irish Heritage Night. They'll dance at nursing homes, hospitals, all kinds of foundations. It's a, it's a great way to get out and just show how much we love Cincinnati and share their talent. Yeah, you know what? It really is fun to do that. Okay, we're going to just give you a quick full screen to tell you how you can get more information. If you'd like to find out more about joining this, you have classes that start at just a a few bucks a class, right, to find out a little bit more, kids and adults, yeah. all yes. the way from 5 o'clock, or five, age, what, Ages 5, five on up. up, yeah, 5 on up, beginner classes start this month, and we have info for you at local12.com. We're going to ask you to stick around and finish the show for us, if you will, and Joshua, I don't know, I have two left feet, how about you, babe? <laughs> I can't